Hey Fluffle Buns, welcome back. This is Roxy Bun, and this is part four of Call of Cthulhu. So we've entered the mansion that Sarah Hawkins lived in. But there's also a thief that's in the house, and we're trying to find out who he is and what he's doing. And we found a secret passage under the mansion. So now we're headed down with our friend Officer Bradley here to Three figure seats. it out. Oh, a reconstruction scene. These are when we go back in time and figure out what happened. Kind of like Sherlock Holmes style. Kind of, rem yeah, it actually does kind of remind me of the Sherlock Holmes movie. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Cultists, maybe. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. Evil. What's this? What is this mask supposed to represent? Cthulhu. Look at all those tentacles. But that's what I'm guessing. And who are you? It, the Voldemort. They look like Voldemort. Voldemort, Voldemort. Oh, Voldy, 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 Voldemort. Alright. Anything else? Let's see. What else to investigate? Oh, look at that statue. He's got some tentacles on his face. With a is that a baby or some it looks like tentacle Jesus. Look at that. He's like got tentacles and he's holding a baby like he's a nice benevolent god. When he probably isn't. I don't really know anything about Cthulhu to tell you. But, uh... What else can I d investigate in here? There we go. This piece Spot of cloth hidden. is unmistakably from a dress. A dress? Was Sarah Hawkins here? I mean, it was under her house. She could have come down like, Hey guys, what are you guys doing? You guys watching the football game? But perhaps not. And they're really doing some cult shit. <sighs> oh boy. Hey, officer. So we go here. And we just. This, this thief, it must be really athletic if he's running down this shit like. at the speed of sound, like he's Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Let's see. Of course. Locked. Naturally. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. Fabulous. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. Oh boy, should we re <laughs> just because we can? I'll find another way. Doesn't mean we should. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my fine. luck. Fine. You party pooping police. All right. So let's consult the diary. Go to the main cave. Clues. The underground antechamber. The strange antechamber hidden at the entrance raises new questions. The presence of a table and three chairs leads to the belief that Charles Hawkins used the place for meetings in small groups. The existence of objects with esoteric connotations is more worrying since they lead to the impression that we may be in the presence of a cult. More off, moreover, the torn fabric revealing Sarah Hawkins' presence in the place does raise questions. Was she in danger because she discovered these tunnels? I'm thinking so. I mean, that's pretty logical. Because he probably didn't want her seeing this shit. But, uh, hey, honey. Oh. Hey. You know, like that kind of thing. Ooh. Is that yucky water? It sure looks like yucky water. What are those bugs in it? Ugh. Yucky water. Yucky water. Water, water. Okay, so we're 
wading around in shitty water. Can I crouch? Control? I cannot. Oh. I'm gonna squeeze. Let me swoosh right in. Now it's not shitty water anymore. Now it's like clear water. Water, water, water. Oh, it's still shitty water. It just looks less shitty. You know, I don't even need a lamp. I'd rather not waste my lamp. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. It's old. It's a Native American, probably, because Native Americans made dream catchers. These paintings must be several centuries old. Because they did mention a tribe on dark water that disappeared. A tribe of men, worshippers of the sea and its benefits, landed on the shores of the island, surrounded by dark waters. They were discovered by the creature some call the Devourer of Whales. For years, the creature hunted them down into their dreams until the weakened minds surrendered. Following the creature's orders, they sunk into the dark waters surrounding the island and never came back. Wow. That sounds not threatening. Sounds like a nice creature. Oh, uh, what's this? These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? And I see tentacles. It's a tentacle monster. I think this is a cult. Worshipping this Cthulhu and me. I don't These know if I'm right. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Yeah, this cave paintings. Alright, so we're heading up. Jump! Whee! So, I'm gonna go over here and hide, but I did earn something, so let's buff me up. Medicine? No, not a cult, but investigation, psychology. You know, let's try it. Let's do that. Level up. Level up. Level up. Validate. Yes. Okay, so... I'm guessing we cannot jump across this. So we just have to swoosh. I don't know if I'm gonna have to like hide and like fight people, but so far I've only done things like talk. So I don't know if that's what's happening Time has here. Weakened these structures. Yes, and uh, if they fall down on you, you're gonna be totally crushed. Literally. Seaweed. What is what are this? Why did I oh did I burn my fingies? It looks like I burnt my fingers for a second and then had to put it away. I don't have time to search them all. No, we don't. But if we go down here we see that oil, that mysterious oil. This oil again. What is it used for? It's wildfire from Game of Thrones. Her, her? No, not really. I mean, no, I, I wouldn't put it past him, but I highly doubt it. If I do see green fire, follow the thief's trail. There's a flame. Can I... I probably really should not be in here. Wow, this place is vast. What's going on here? I have no idea, but it looks like cult shit. Beers. Keep your voice down. Can't shut alone. the fuck Good. up. What have you got me into? Should we leave? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. I'll meet you at the bottom. Alright, officer. 
I'll meet you right down there. That's the wrong accent and a terrible one at that. But... Did I hear chanting? And we're just going through here. Let's see. Look at all them candles. All these candles. It's definitely a cult. Men in... What the fuck is that? What's in... That's a painting. A mass Ooh. grave. Yikes. That looks... Like intestines in the mass grave. A table for sacrifice? Ugh, probably. Hey, it's a painting. Who's it of? I don't know. An engraved whale bone. Ooh. A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a figure of worship. Okay. So we have progressed our occultism. Nice. But yeah, why are the what's with this painting? I don't know who it's a painting of, but where do we go? I'm not jumping down there. Locked. Of course. So do we go back? That seems to be the only place to go. back shit yeah there's I'm not gonna bother your worshiping guys But, like, I'm serious. Where the fuck do I go? Because I am now officially kind of lost. Unless... A table for sacrifice? Yeah, probably. A table for sacrifice? Oh, there we go. Now... Now we get to look at the painting. But who is that? <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, and we both fell down the mass grave hole. I got it. Sick. Okay, so we've done this. Let's see. Trying to see what else to do. Clues. 
This bone. Ew! Oh, it can't breathe. Am I losing my mind? What? Panic attack. Happening. Some places will make you have a panic attack. Flee the, flee the place as fast as you can. No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. No, damn it! I must find a way no, out of damn here. damn it. This way? Okay, so that was scary. I don't know why he was panicking, but he is a war veteran, so he does have PTSD. Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon oh? be one of us. One if of us. Mind, one of I us. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Crazy Good motherfucker. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Ooh. So we're dreaming of some shit. So let's consult our diary. So now we have to explore the caves. It looks like a kind of religious cult. They're armed and very pious, therefore dangerous. I'd better not get caught. It says Bradley and I split up in order to explore this tun explore the tunnels. Men dressed like monks occupy the place. They make me think of a secret society. I found the stolen painting exposed between two tables covered in dry blood. The person who stole it was waiting for me. He tried to stab me and in the struggle we fell into a pit. The fall killed him. Where am I? Alright, so... Found this Seems dag to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. F it's a dagger. A ritual dagger. Definitely a cult. What cultism? I can't read Latin. I can't either. Perhaps somebody can. Eventually. Oh, there's the light. So we're not completely far from God or whatever we believe in. Because the light shines all the way down here in this dump. Alright. I'm guessing... Locked. So we're crawling. Hey, this reminds me of the beginning of the game. I did a very similar thing to this. But I had to get bolt cutters. Is this a cutscene? Yes. It is. Ooh. We got in too deep. You who What are they doing to him? Cthulhu Fitag. Grant him your flesh and accept his. Is he sacrificing himself? Oh. I don't know what language that is. Grant him your mind and accept his. So that his mind and yours may be one. Yeloig padk kutulu loigna. Wow. Grant him your dreams and accept his, so that the paths of your souls finally. This is return. wild. Your el kutulu kasha. Let his soul guide you to us, just as your dreams guided it to you. You're they gonna kill him? Cthulhu bog shug. I ain't going over there. The way, so that the day finally comes when you will awake. 
La, la, Cthulhu Nafal Fataga. I am going to go. This way. Alright, that's locked. But yeah, I'd rather these guys not see me. Because, uh... They look pretty dangerous. And crazy. Especially crazy. So let's go back this way. If there's a way to go this way. I guess... There's a boat. A boat right to hell? Let's try to take the boat. Then we can say we did explore. I guess, no, we're not taking the boat. And I'm trying to not be seen here. Because this is, yeah, obviously a cult. And they obviously want to be a secret cult. And obviously don't want me to see them because it's a secret cult. So there's nothing over here except, like, that boat that goes to hell. Wherever it goes. I don't know. So we can go this way. And I don't want to get seen. And then we just kind of... Swoosh. And go up the stairs and get the fuck out of here if we can. Locked. Oh, this is the door that was locked. That I could not get into the normal way. So I guess I do have to go down and past the cult. Grand. I don't want to get seen. That's locked. Like everything else. It's locked and locked like all the secret secret shit going on. I'm gonna go behind you and go out. I I feel it. Do you? You are gifted indeed. This is a gross Let him pass whale guts. Bring me more of sacred flesh. We pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. Oh boy, and here's some dead people. They look like dead people. I'm not going to get close enough to figure it out. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? Oh, hi. His awakening. Is complete. He will Your join protege. So let's get the hell out of here. Yes, I went the right way. Cutscene means the right way. Oh boy. Ooh, what's happening? They're wearing masks that have the tentacles drawn on them. There's the policeman. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. You idiot. They're cultists. What in the world is this? <gasps> you got us An busted. Intruder. Oh shit. Yeah, oh shit. 
Don't move! Police! This is just like Don't the beginning. <gasps> oh, we got tentacles. Hi. He's gonna kill the cop. I won't he... hesitate! Bradley, get Pistol. back! Get back! You asked for it! <gasps> you did not kill him. He's immortal. He's like a god. Oh, that's Charles Hawkins. Oh, goodness me. What do I do? So this is a cut scene and then... In. I need to get out of here. I'm just running. Running? Running like a motherfucker. Ooh, god, bye. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. We'll discuss what we saw in a minute, but I don't want it. Fuck. Looks like I ain't getting out of here. My leg! My leg! My leg! Like the SpongeBob meme. My leg! But holy shit. How do I get out of here? Like everything's buzzing. Am I even going the right way? I am limping. God help me. I do not want to be stuck down here. <gasps> light! Yes, light, 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 light. Please, please, God. Light! Please. Yes. At last. You took my words out of my mouth. Light. <gasps> or not. <laughs> Whacked in the face by a fucking boulder. Chapter 5, Riverside Institute. Pierce and Officer Bradley followed the intruder to a secret meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by a Charles Hawkins very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself a prisoner of a rockfall. Rushed to the Riverside Institute, he's in a critical state. What is the Riverside Institute? I'm guessing it's a hospital. Is it a hospital? I mean, I'm critical, so yeah. My leg and my head are probably really fucked up. If this loads. Enter madness. Yeah, I'm in a hospital. Injection? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are, you, what are you doing? Why am I shackled down like a criminal? Hey, lady. You look evil. What are you injecting me with, you evil people? The doctor don't look too nice either. He's having a seizure. Oh, great. You will survive. Strong subject. There, he's opening his eyes. What happened? I, I can't get up. How is Officer Bradley alive? Don't move, Pierce. Didn't he just die? You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what but did you, you do died. To... Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. Are you guys fake? You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. No. Oh, no. this is not cool. Okay, so get- So I'm in the- am I in the mental hospital? Yeah, I'm in the mental what hospital. Where am I? 
I'm in a padded room is where I'm at. Alright, so I'm going to call this the end of part four. This is a good place to stop. Yeah, we're in the asylum. So we just saw a cult ritual. We just saw a dead guy live. And we just saw another dead guy actually be alive because the other dead guy supposedly killed him. And now we're in a padded room. Lovely. And I hear crazy laughing and everything. All right. Fabulous. So anyway, if you like this video, hop on over to that like button. Give it a bunny nudge for me. Share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you have subscribed, remember to hit the bell notification button so you know when the next video comes up. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.